what the case is. But this was the song I was thinking about. Imagine that song, but everyone was got was passed a bun of some indica. Everyone puffed and everything chilled down. All right. So the Indo version of this song is basically the G.O.D. version. <laughs> And you can't deny it because <laughs> look at the cover right here. He's got it on his shirt. <laughs> Clean, man. Um, anyways, this song's pretty dope. I like the tropical vibes that you get from the um, the instrument. Um, definitely pretty dope. It's definitely a banger. Comes in, kind of does his thing. Uh, that being said, let's move on to track number six, Well Connected featuring Reem. Thank y'all for being well connected with me. Okay. What? Yeah. What you know about staying up for hours out of the fucking night? Riding this shit, trying to make sure that your flow is right. songs that I like on here besides uh, the way it goes slash ball well connected is another one it's reminding me once again this tape isn't too bad but there is one more joint that forever in my life oh man in fact I should make this my ringtone it's two tracks away I can't wait till we get there with the biggest tease that he gives on this whole production. I'm like, damn. Anyways, uh, track number seven, 
Quotable. I like what G.O.D. and Reem did on there, man. It was solid. Solid. Moving on to the next track. Quotable. Yeah. Halfway mark, baby. Depending on how the other people do, there's about, really, technically, two artists got the chance to do it twice. And we got, like, a total of, like, five opportunities. I still think D-Note is definitely the feature on this tape. Holy smokes. And, obviously, he held no punches. Basically, has commented a lot of the things that now everyone is socially aware of or should be i mean now you got all these sims talking like as if they're professors about this situation it's like you think you're the only one that knows about people being under these 360 deals and all that it's like come on come on man anyways whoo Yep, he's right about them pills killing people, man. I mean, shit. He was he brought up Michael Jackson as an example, but damn. We talk about most of these artists really talking about popping pills in a song. It's like, hold up. This is the shit that's killing people like Kurt Cobain overdose, you know? It's like, you want to talk about doing the same thing that got them killed? You may say YOLO, but like, don't you want to make the most out of life rather than do the most? I think there's a big difference between the two. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, move on on to track number eight. And yes, as a kid, my, my mentality was all about doing the most. Somewhere in my teenage years, I woke up and had common sense. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, oh, we got like 40 seconds left. Let's get it. Everybody going through life trying to do for me the most memorable thing really about god is he just he is a hook line and sinker <laughs> all right when it comes to just hitting the main hook i mean like line and sinker man really 
dude be like Tiger Woods with these hooks, you know, hole in one. <laughs> well, at least prime Tiger Woods. Let's get to that. But um, absolutely, Quarter Wall is really a great um, song in the sense of like mind, intuition. But you get to see that side of G.O.D. a lot more often. I mean, here, like I said, he's all about energy, flow. I mean, the hook, once again, he's like, I'm trying to be quotable. I like how he delivered on the hook. Very catchy. We're going to move on, though, to the next track, which is Interlude Smoke Break, the one I was telling y'all about. Let's get into it. Tell me what. Tell me what. It's so good. I'm in your hood. What you wanna do, baby? I'm fucking sorry. That was the biggest tease I got right there. type of vibe this beat production just give me that god vibe man playful but yet very subtle and at the same time strong with delivering to the point the melodies here really um fabricate that very well you know what i mean like it puts it on and gives it the clothing that god needs to pretty much go out there and perform like the artist he envisions himself to be he started getting. He's starting to get back to that vibe. Uh, if you heard my first reaction to uh, Saint Regis, definitely reintroducing the guitar lines again. Like that's what he was about. Was just like playful with the instruments, but at the same time, like it still had some serene, you know, type of melody to it. I like it. Like that shit is catchy, and I like it. To me, like. He's got catchy hooks, man. That's for sure. I think he's one of the best hook makers. I mean, especially coming from a rapper standpoint or when he wants to kind of like, you know, sing in a kind of a blase kind of way, you know, he's going to really come in and deliver. Now, I did comment on that video. I'm like, hey, do you think TB3 is going to come through? Because he already got number two out the way. If he ever does come out with a TOTB3, I do pray that G.O.D. comes back, visits this first one, hears that interlude smoke break beat, and like, and be like, I think I need to re-up this beat, and it does a whole, like, just does the beat justice, and actually makes it into an actual song, and just deliver on it, hands down. Like, to me, this dude really is an introduction to Boston, man. It just feels very prideful, patriotic, without losing its genuine type of sense, you know what I mean, or style, you know what I mean, it, it's really dope, uh, but either way, we're gonna move on, it's like, you know how you're sweet, Caroline, uh, 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 the Red Sox go crazy about that, but like, it's kind of like similar to that, he's got some sort of like, swagger with such simplistic notes like this, man, it just comes in, it's dope, I like it. You know what I mean? Um, but he definitely hits other genres pretty well. We'll get to that going to the next project. For now, 
man, I just can't talk about this endless smoke break. I got to see him come back, visit this beat, do it justice, actually bring it out of light, actually have someone mix and master it unless he wants to do it himself. Hey, you know, nothing's out of the question. Just give this beat the re-up that it needs. Come out as a diff, like a better version of the original. And then, yeah, go ahead and perform on that motherfucker. Call it a smoke break. Shoot. <laughs> Just don't make it no damn interlude and tease us about how oh, I ain't gonna rap on this. That being said, let's move on to track number nine, Stage Fright Part Two. There was a straight there was a stage fright part one? No the fuck. There must have been something before this tape then. This is the earliest that I could find. Anyway, so Stage Fright Part Two featuring B Angelina. Let's get it. <laughs> Intelligence, courage, and understanding. Being there, no creation after the love band. Brushing off small stuff, learning from mistakes, knowing that we all talk. Just in freaking different ways. Ain't got no watch to change, but my mind glistens. Everybody talks and everybody listens, but somehow the just no ends are missing. Tell me why it's missing. I'ma find out why it's missing. I ain't on a mission to become something I ain't been discovered yet. I'm leaving the rest. Becoming the best on the ship at the top, so you even gotta guess.
So this song is really dope because now you started to really hear G.O.D. scratch the surface as a lyricist and he's really at a lot of spots, man. Kind of like a scattered thunderstorm that doesn't really know where to drop all its rain at just yet. So when it comes to his storytelling, it's not definitely the most surefire path or like the most smooth, smoothest path that you really listen to, but damn, I can't stop burping. But either way, um, at the end of the day, if you kind of like carefully follow with where he's going at, he's kind of leading, he's kind of leading you somewhere. And while it's very subtle, you know, like this is very easy for, you know, things to pass above the heads, but he's definitely dropped some well, um, you know, hidden gems of bars here and there. Like how he's talking about everyone is gifted, but not everyone wants to open their present. You know what I mean? So he's like saying, while everyone has a talent, not everyone wants to make the most out of it right now. And they're all kind of stuck. And to me, it's like, yeah, in a sense, that's kind of true. So that shit kind of hits deep. Um, He can drop some deep bars, I think. That's really what's to take from this track. And B. Angelina was phenomenal with the vocals. <sighs> Stage right, part two. I don't know where part one is at. All I know is that I got 14 tracks on here. And I gotta double check. I don't know if I missed it or if it's from a tape that has no that is no longer up for download anymore. I mean I haven't checked mixtape monkey, but I checked that piff. That piff, it's either that piff or nothing. 14 tracks, yeah, I got everything. I wanted to double check because I did remember one time I thought maybe this was 16 tracks deep, but yeah, anyways, we're gonna get to track number 10. Trying, but yeah, there you go. To me, that definitely was, I want to say, really his second best overall performance behind the way it goes, ball. But let's get to track number nine, uh, track number 10, try. Oh, shit. Integrity, hard work, family. Oh, it's another skit, I think. Getting where we came from. So you are what you are in this world. That's either one or two things. Either you're somebody or you're nobody. <laughs> Man, we're trying. 
Remember that day, man, we was in the park a lot, crying. I told that nigga that, man, we gon' make it, bro. He's like, you remember when we was crying? He said, we. It's like, hey, man, we just got to keep trying. That shit was deep. <sighs> Damn, the song fucking hits, bro. Oh, gee, oh, why you got to do that, bro? Oh, not a feel. Oh, I feel that. You could just feel that frustration when you're trying so fucking hard. And shit just ain't fucking clicking. That's where I'm at right now at this point of life. Like, I know I got it. But it's just, you trying, and right now it's not click. I feel that. I feel that. This shit really hits me deep. I mean, like, I don't think any rapper can hit me soulfully deep. Well, actually, two. When I think about J. Cole and Ace Hood. But G.O.D., I mean, my God, dog. Shit. If you guys think I'm I'm not playing with y'all about A so y'all really need to check out his starvation series. It's called Starvation for a reason. Hungry for success, man. Alright. J. Cole about that deep shit, but A so when you really feel about that struggle and you could personally feel that. G O D did the same thing here. And that shit just hits hard right now. Oh my god, man. Gio, I feel you on that. I feel you heavy. And sometimes it's our own flaws and sometimes a lack of confidence or lack of belief that could hold us back. Or it's just not the right time at all. It's really not easy. In fact, I'll say it's extremely difficult if you know where I'm coming from. It's, nothing comes easy. But that's the thing. Some people give up, quit. Some people keep going, go forward. I'm too stubborn to know when to quit. In fact, I might die on this. And when it comes to up to that moment, I'm going to be okay with it. Fuck it. Maybe I wasn't good enough or strong enough to make it through in this life. Family may weep for me, but it's cool. But I feel like that's not going to be the road that God has for me. I think this is like a trial or test to have faith and patience in him. A lot of people give up or sometimes people take the wrong turn when we ain't supposed to. And there are times where we are going the right road and we question ourselves. Are we really doing the right fucking thing? You know, God really hits us hard and soulful, man, because the moment when you succeed, and you see those real tears coming out of someone's eye. You know they went through something that they had to go through with some inner struggle within themselves. Lack of confidence or just a lot of bullshit stacked up. One on top of the other. Or even worse, it's a double fucking whammy. And it's <laughs> two at the same time, man. You know, it, it, it just... I can't tell you so much how... How much, how crucial having patience is in the process. You can't really give up. There's no such thing as too late. If anything, sometimes it's always giving up too soon. And the way I see it, you may not came up when the time you was expecting it to. But I always say, better late than never. No regrets, right? That's how I feel. Especially when it comes to moments where even if you didn't know something that you knew now, like, it's cool. You had to learn that lesson. It's a valuable L that you had to take and learn from so that way you can grow, become stronger, and get that W the next time it comes around. You feel me? So, you know, that's why you got, like, the NBA, you got the game of, set, you know, seven games. It gives the best team a really the chance to shine through and come on top. And I feel like any team does that. Cool. But, however, I still think with the Phoenix Suns being omitted from the mo most recent playoff series, 
I don't think we got the full potential of seeing what could have happened. That's all I'm going to say. That being said, uh, other than that whole playoff bubble, every year, best team won. It is what it is. But, yeah. Um, we're going to move on, man. Um, this song got me on a rant. I wasn't really trying to drive it like that, but I had to feel some type of way, man. That song really had hit me strong. Fuck it. Sometimes it ain't easy doing it alone, but when you know that you were naturally made to be a lone wolf, you got to embrace that role. Go forward with it. It is what it is. All right. Track number 11, Georgetown Drive. <laughs> Yeah, I choose you, baby. <laughs> yeah. Wise man once told me to never think I'm the only. Keep a bad one on the side, that way I never get lonely. I ain't missing nigga tripping, turn that hoe into a missus. And the devil showed him once, so now that missus is missing. I'm forgiven, but living. I moved on to different. Money spending, now see bitches grab my jeans and they zip it. Yeah, I know that shit disgusting, man. Just talk, you be living. Just know when it's probably loose, it probably be that was in it. Mama told me, don't mess with these movie hoes. You show up in the loop of shows, they show you they lips. They only used to blow, do what you want to them birds and move them hoes Get your money fast and hard, kinda ain't losing slow So we like, ah, to the fact I'm making moves All they had us up no more and now it's actually what I do What a duck, I was on it, get, get, boy I want it, you want it nigga I gotta put my city on, I promise, so I Choose you money, I choose you success, I need new money, fat, where that, pick a chair, blue screws money, that I sat down, made a plan, execute money, now I'm from the front, ain't talking, smoking on that forest green, ho, me and Jack, got, got, blowing out of league, yo, me and my amigos, keep the bad hoes by the street, yo, it's me, yo, me and my niggas, know we on the road, can't believe it's me, like butter, pussy, lava, undercovers, ain't like these fucking other suckers, strike like lightning, clap like thunder, Let me 